to Church News. First of all, it has been wonderful to have Tim and Hannah with us today, our mission partners from Brazil and their children as well. As you know, we would love to welcome Isabella back to St. John's as a Latin Link intern. She was wonderful as a team leader when she came here in July in 2023. We are hoping she will be able to join us in May. And part of this means sponsoring her to be able to join us. If you are able to give towards, towards her arrival so that we can support her, a link will appear on the screen any second now. And any questions, please do chat to Esther. Fabulous. Coming up next Sunday at 10.30 a.m. is our all age service. And we really do mean all age. All ages, all stages are welcome to come and join us for this interactive, intergenerational, creative service. A great opportunity for us to grow together as a family. And this year, we're gonna be learning all about the miracles Jesus performed that showed the power of the kingdom of God at work here on earth. Last month, we heard from York about the water into wine. This month, next week, one of our students is gonna be preaching for the first time. So do come along and hear what he's got to say about our next miracle. And if you would love to be a part of these interactive services and making them happen, we'd love to have a chat. Come talk to us about how you might be able to be involved. That would be absolutely wonderful. It would. So next, we want to tell you about our newcomer, Connect Sundays. Throughout the year, there will be opportunities for anyone who is new or feels new to come along and meet the vicar, Woo! Esther. And this will be an opportunity to ask lots of questions and find out a bit more, bit more about what everything goes on at St. John's. This will be an informal meeting together, maybe a bit of tea and coffee together, sharing of biscuits. And this will be happening after every service. So if you are new, or feel new to St. John's, come along to the next one, which will be on Sunday, the 11th of February. And this is going to be happening after all three services, the nine o'clock, the 10.30, and the six o'clock service. If you want to book on, Esther's email again will be appearing any second. Please look at that and email to let her know that you'll be joining her and make sure she's got enough biscuits to share with everyone. Absolutely. And finally, for this week's church news, we want to tell you about a very exciting endeavour that started just a few weeks ago. It's called the Churches Together Worship and Prayer at Royal Holloway on campus. We were in the Students' Union, which is basically their nightclub. It does other stuff. But we were in there. There were eight churches, including us, joined together to worship and to pray for our Royal Holloway students, the staff, everyone that works there to pray for revival, that people will come to know Christ, to shake the foundations with our worship, and with our prayer. And it was just amazing. Ask any of the people that went along, particularly myself, it was amazing. So we would like to invite you to the next one. It's on Monday the 19th of February at 7.30. If you need directions, let me know. I can tell you how to get there. This is for all our family to come and pray for this next generation. And especially if you're a Royal Holloway alumni or married to one, <laughs> I would love for you to come, come back to your university and to pray for this next generation. So it's February the 19th and the next one after that is March the 11th, 7.30 in the Students' Union. And that's it, that's it. That's all we've got time for. So we'll see you again very soon. Bye.